Well, we're honored today to have Mayor, greatest mayor in my lifetime and your lifetime, to come out to Staten Island, who made it possible. You remember in 1992, it was the unprecedented vote that came from Staten Island that put Rudy Giuliani over the top the second time he ran against David Dinkins. And Rudy saved this city. Remember, we were averaging close to 2,000 murders a year. It was chaos and anarchy in the streets. We were on the point of fiscally dissolving. And Rudy Giuliani took control of the situation, not just for Staten Island, but all five boroughs, but didn't forget Staten Island. He closed the dump, free ferry, and Staten Island finally wasn't the forgotten borough. So I'm honored to have the endorsement today of Rudy Giuliani. Because the next mayor of the city of New York is following your footsteps. Well, I am very, very honored to be here in Staten Island, my favorite borough by far. I love Staten Island. I think your, contrib your contribution to the city. Well, you know when people realized it after September 11? Yes. I was here so often for funerals. I still remember when I drive along Staten Island, I remember the churches, I remember the families, and I remember the little children who now are probably 20, 18, 20, 22, 23, whatever, right? This borough was hit the hardest of any because it's the borough that gives the most, biggest heart. That's why you're here for Catholic Charities. But you need to have somebody that has Staten Island in their heart. Curtis does. Curtis understands Staten Island. It'll be very special to him. Doesn't mean other people aren't going to like it, aren't going to care about it. Curtis has that special feeling for Staten Island that you need. Because Staten Island has some special needs because it's different than the rest of the city. But it also gets affected by the same things as the rest of the city. The terrible amount of crime that's going on now. Totally the cause of de Blasio with a lot of help from Cuomo. I mean, we don't have to have this crime if we had sensible bail laws, if we actually help people in prison, if we actually uh, help people in prison that police officers arrest. They're out, and they're out. The people committing the crimes are put there by de Blasio, they're put there by Cuomo, they're put there by democratic policies like the one they voted for the other day where they're gonna cut parole in half. And the faster, the faster the Democrats can get people to commit crimes, the better, it seems. Also, the budget of this city is crazy. It's almost a hundred, it's almost a hundred billion dollars. When I left, it was forty billion dollars. It's almost a hundred billion dollars. The budget of the state is two hundred and twelve billion dollars. That's over three hundred billion dollars for the city and the state. Who's going to pay for it? You are. You're going to pay for it in two ways. Taxes and your dollar is going to go down. The value of it's going to go down. These idiots don't know that. They don't realize it. Curtis realizes it. Curtis will, first of all, most important thing, he'll make the city safe. He'll go back to policing where you stop criminals. Right. And you actually keep them in jail. You don't, like, put them out so they can hurt you. He will restore the morale of the police department. Thank you. 100% right away. That means a lot, boy. He'll also make sure we cut the regulations. We cut taxes as much as possible. We help the businesses. We don't try to ruin every restaurant in New York like de Blasio and, and, and Cuomo did. And I don't know what they have against restaurants. They just seem not to like them. They don't like businesses. I have a feeling they want to make us into a socialist state. I do. Yeah. Not just them, but all of them all around the country. The one in Michigan and the one in California. The one in Washington who has a no brain. <laughs> you, think, you think he knows what he's doing? I don't. I mean, if he was giving a speech now, this would happen. It's really, really wonderful to be here, to be endorsing. <laughs> uh, what is it? <laughs> Red hat, the red, <laughs> the guardian. Oh, oh Mr. Guardian. I said we endorse you, Mr. Guardian. Sorry. Okay. So we got to take this back. 
We're at a crossroads now. We got to take this back. We got to take the city back. We got to do a miracle. First of all, we got to have him win the Republican primary big, not little, big, so he can go into the general election strong. Because any one of those Democrats will continue to ruin the city. One is worse than the other. They're going to, they're going to destroy the police department. They're going to continue to do it. They're going to put us in bankruptcy. They're going to count on Biden bailing them out. <laughs> Biden's not going to bail them out. We're going to bail them out with the high taxes and the low value of money. That's how we're going to do it. The city will be like when I came into office, 10 and a half percent unemployment. No new jobs. Wages the lowest ever. Because Dinkins was the worst mayor in New York City. Until, until, best thing that happened to Dinkins was de Blasio. I pray for him. Please, somebody worse, come along. Somebody worse. <laughs> there he is, de Blasio, worse. I take Dinkins back. In a minute. Well, maybe. Yes. But, yeah. In a minute. Curtis is a better choice. Yes. I'm also going to tell you. I also wanted to be here today with my son, but he is at a funeral for his mother-in-law, who died the other day. Wonderful wife, Javili and Andrew are at a funeral, and he loves Staten Island. When you get around to the gubernatorial primary, Andrew. there's going to be only one candidate that loves Staten Island. He found out, you know, he, every time I campaigned here, he was here with me. Every time somebody had to chase him down the block, it was Guy Molinari. Because Guy could run. Nobody else could run. <laughs> he tackled Andrew once. He got hurt. He tackled Andrew once. Andrew loves Staten Island. I'm telling you, you got to have Staten Island in your heart. And you need people in the mayor's office, the governor's office, in Albany, in Washington. They really feel this place. Because then you can get a lot done. So, now we got a, one big mission in hand. November we'll have another one. Curtis, Republican primary, the 22nd. You can start voting now, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get him in there. Let's get him there. What, like a big, big Staten Island victory like he used to yes. give me, okay? He deserves it. He's the right man at the right time. He knows about crime. He understands it. I've been working with Curtis since 1986. He was he was he was producing crime with Koch Yes. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's a very very smart man. Very smart man. This city's going to be in very good hands with Curtis. We can't make a mistake again. We made a mistake twice in a row, and look what happened to us. And we picked that guy who. I don't, know. I, don't know. I don't know what to call them in Italian. I should call them something. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. I don't even know what that means. Buffone, it might be nice. Buffone, right? I mean, come on. Jesus, go to. Went to, went to Cuba on his honeymoon. Ay, ay, ay. You gotta be a communist to go to Cuba on your honeymoon. He doesn't even smoke cigars. He smokes something else. He doesn't smoke cigars. All right, Curtis. You're the man. Thank you, Curtis.